Hello, Chuck here again. I wanted to do this recording quickly while I was doing a build um, because I ran into a problem mapping uh, PWM outputs to the motor pins. And there are two different ways you can do this within Betaflight or CleanFlight. And one is um, servo tilt and the other is channel forwarding. But uh, what I found out is that they are a little bit different in that servo tilt only allows you to forward two channels to um, the uh, motor output pins, whereas channel forwarding allows you to forward as um, as many I've, as three so far. I've gotten three to go. So uh, let me just connect. Um, actually, let me do a little description of my setup here. So I've, as I have my F3 flight controller set up um, plugged into USB. I also have an external uh, 5 volt uh, plugged into the number 8 uh, motor output pins just to power the, the bus because what I'm going to be doing is I'm uh, running um, I'm actually running a channel switcher off of uh, off of uh, number five I have right here. So I have my um, FR Sky um, XM Plus uh, receiver set up right here. It's on and bound to my Tyrannus X7 and it's uh, set up as an S bus. And so we're all set up right now and I also have on the side here, you probably noticed, is uh, an oscilloscope. So this oscilloscope is uh, connected to uh, the, the, the signal um, wire off of pin 5 and also it's grounded um, to the flight controller here off of uh, pin 1. So in any case, uh, the oscilloscope is running and the line is just showing flat. So on channel 5 there's no output. So let's go back to um, the beta flight configurator and take a look here. So I'll connect to the um, the flight controller and what I'll show you is within the configuration this is where you're gonna find the other features and you'll have the servo tilt here for the servo gimbal and there's also channel forwarding. So let's just go through the servo tilt right now. So on servo tilt just, just go ahead and turn that on You'll get a. Uh, you'll have to reboot that. And let me go into my receiver setup just to so, just just to show you what I have set up here. So on my Tyrannus, I have the um, what is it called? Um, I think it's SA switch um, set up on aux three. I have um, one of my knobs set up on aux 4 and my other knob set up on aux 5. So you can see those moving there. So on the um, servo tilt, this is something you can set up through the UI. And if you turn on the enable expert mode, you'll get the servos tab. So if you go into servos, you'll get this list here. and I showed you that I had auxiliary 3, 4, and 5 um, set up. So what I'm going to do is just set up as servo 0. I'm going to turn on A3. So let's just do one right now. Actually, let's, uh, let's do three. Let's do all three of them. So A4 and A5. All right, so I'll save those. And once you do that, you can go into your motors tab and now see the servos. So let me just go ahead and move some of the um, switches here. So this is my uh, my my switch on and off, and this is one of my knobs on servo two, up and down. But number three does not work, so I get nothing on channel three or servo three using servo tilt and what's interesting though is that now if you take a look at the flight controller let's go back to the um, oscilloscope here and you'll notice that the line is still flat 
and there's no um, PWM sing signal being sent out of the um, number five uh, motor pin. So there's a setting, or there's a few settings that you'll have to make in Betaflight. So let's just go back to Betaflight. And let me just show you um, what's going on here. So I'll click into the CLI. And if you type in resource, you'll get a list of all the resources that are currently assigned. And what you want to look at is um, the motor. You have um, five, six, seven, eight that are free, basically, because you're using one through four for your motors. And you don't see any servos here. So let me just show you my cheat sheet on the side here. Um, bring it into frame here. All right. So in order to change the motor outputs to servo outputs, what you'll have to do is unassign motors five, six, seven on your flight controller and add in the servo resources for servos one, two, three. And what you'll do is you'll give the resource ID of the motor pins that are currently assigned. So right now you can see motor five is B08 and I'm going to assign servo one to B08 and so on. So I'll get three of them. So let me just go ahead and copy and paste this into uh, Betaflight. Now I'll type in save. It's going to reboot. And let's just take a look at the motors tab again. And I still have um, my servos working. But now let's go back to the oscilloscope. And now what you'll see is that the oscilloscope is now showing a trace for motor output number five. And if I flick the switch on my transmitter, that'll change the um, pulse width. And you can see it changing there on the oscilloscope. So that's how you set up two channels to be forwarded to your to your flight controller but you, you can't get more than two channels using servo tilt I'm not sure why they haven't implemented like that so um, let me just show you that if I put if I change the if I change the um, oscilloscope to motor output sorry number six I have a I have a PWM uh, pulse and I'll go ahead and turn the knob on my transmitter and we'll see that that uh, pulse width um, get wider and narrower as I twist the knob and now if I change to oops <laughs> sorry about that okay so now we're on number seven uh, motor output number seven and I have nothing there no um, waveform at all so this is a limitation so the way to get around that let's go back to the beta flight uh, configurator now so I'm going to go back into the uh, configuration and I'll turn off the servo tilt and I'll turn on uh, channel forwarding let's go ahead and reboot that And now, if I look at the servos tab, I still have my old settings here. Um, let me go to my motors tab, and now I have nothing showing up on my on my servos. If I flip the switches or turn the knobs, I have nothing. But if I go to my receiver tab, you'll see that if I flip my switch, I have Uh, what's going on here? It's freezing up on me. Let me um, do
disconnect here and reconnect real quick. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so connecting. Alright, so connecting again, let's go back into the configuration tab. We have channel forwarding turned on, servo tilt is turned off. Go into servos, those are still on in the motors. Nothing's happening here on the servos, but if I go to the receiver, let me just play with this just a little bit here, so I have... Uh, sorry, folks, I just pulled out the uh, power on my my receiver. Okay, so now my receiver is on. And if I turn the knobs and flip the switch, so I have aux 345 working. Okay, well, th the last thing I wanted to show you was that now I have three channels on my um, three channels forwarded on my flight controller, but the um, the problem here is that um, on channel number uh, let's see pin, I'm sorry motor output number seven I now have the um, the first channel or my aux um, let's see let's go in here. I have aux number three coming out of motor output seven. And what I really want is aux five coming out of motor output seven. So one, one last thing you have to do is that you have to set a another variable within uh, Betaflight and let's go to the CLI for this so the um, variable name is channel forwarding start so uh, let me just go back to my receiver tab here if I count the channels channel 5 is aux 1 I think this starts to uh, start counting from zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So ch channel six would be aux three counting from zero. So if I go back to my CLI and I paste in my command uh, set channel forwarding start equals six. Set that, save and it reboots and now if I go back to my um, oscilloscope I'll be able to show you that um, now if I turn oh sorry wrong knob if I turn the knob now now it changes the waveform so so basically you have to make sure that the the start channel is set to um, the channel number that you're going to be using on uh, for your aux. It has to align with the aux channel. So I've probably confused a lot of people, but if you kind of look at my screens and uh, see how things are set up, you'll know that it. Um, um, it's it's a pretty easy setup to uh, get channel forwarding to work uh, for more than two servos. So, hope that's helped. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.